Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Nine Malls As Seen on TV uh, Gadget and Food Review Channel. Today, I'm going to review a product that I have not seen before. Uh, I used to drink Folgers, actually, actually, but this is the Gourmet Supreme version of Folgers, so I'm interested to see how much better it tastes. So yeah, premium coffee. I do uh, coffee reviews sometimes on this channel. This is one of them. And I thought just from the fold, it being Folgers, um, and this is the gourmet version, and also just like the, the shrink wrap, uh, you know, they take the air out of it. It's kind of like shrink wrap pack. It's kind of cool. I uh, decided to test it out. So this is a Roast Master Series, great for French press or cold brew. A blend of robust, robust and full body flavors. You get 10.3 ounces. This thing was about five bucks. It was on sale. Ground coffee, cafe Molito. 100% uh, pure coffee, you know, so it's not like a single origin or Arabica beans. It just says 100% pure coffee, uh, which is not really what you want to look for. But it being Folgers, it's probably a blend of coffees that they get since they produce at scale. It's not small batch coffee. Um, yeah, so here we go. It says mix up to 96 floor ounce cups. Uh, my goal this month is 20,000 stars. I'm 37% of the way there. Uh, yesterday was a great day for stars, so I really appreciate those that gave the stars. All right, so let's open up, see what's inside. And just as I'm opening this, if you want to follow my YouTube channel, it's uh, youtube.com slash nine malls, or just search the number nine, M-A-L-L-S. Also, there's a podcast of the audio. Uh, just search your favorite podcast. Um, however you get podcasts, just search no number nine, M-A-L-L-S. It's nine malls. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Hey Gary, how's it going? Reviewing the Folgers Gourmet Supreme. I like to do coffee reviews. These aren't always the most popular reviews, but uh, I like kind of just trying out different coffees. So this is one of them. Smells good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not the best smelling coffee I've ever smelled, but definitely still, I've, uh, the other coffee that I've reviewed, uh, well, one of my more recent coffee reviews was Death Wish Coffee. Uh, this definitely smells better than Death Wish coffee. I felt like Death Wish kind of had a burnt smell, um, at least with their medium roast. It tasted okay, but it kind of had a burnt smell. This this smells a lot better. All right, so let's bring it over to the drip coffee machine here. And just for the sake of this review, I'm not going to use filtered water, but uh, you probably would want to. I love coffee, says Hope. Absolutely folders. So yeah, this is the gourmet Folgers. So I mean, I've seen in the, some comments about people liking their Folgers. Um, this is the gourmet version, so I'm interested to see, you know, does it taste better? Does it taste different? All right, so I'm just gonna make it how I normally do. I'm not gonna, I think there's a secret formula, but I kind of make it how I make it. Yeah, the best part of waking up is folders in your cup, says Bill. That's true. I don't know. Do they still play those commercials? I haven't seen them in a while. I'm going to wash my hands. I actually had some coffee from earlier this morning. All right, so this is just a Hamilton Beach uh, coffee brewer. I like it. I mean, it's it's, it's good enough. It. Uh, I went through a couple coffee brewers before settling on this one. This one doesn't have a, some coffee. Some coffee brewers you get kind of a plastic taste, which is disgusting. Um, but this one was good. Uh, I did a review of it a long time ago. All right, so here we go. Yep, the best part of waking up is folders in your cup, says Mona. I think everybody remembers that commercial. There was many. Let's see. Alexa, how much is Folgers Gourmet Supreme? Recently on Amazon, the price for Folgers Gourmet Supreme ranged from $9 US dollars up to $210 US dollars. <laughs> The top result is Folgers Gourmet Supreme Medium Dark Roast Ground Coffee, 24.2 ounces. It's $9.39. Alright, so there you go. I definitely got a better uh, deal on it. Paid around 5 bucks. 
that's what I've noticed again and again and again and again and again. Uh, if you buy it locally, prices are less than if you shop online. So $210, I know. Uh, so it's brewing right now. Alexa, what's the rating of Folgers Gourmet Supreme Coffee? Here's what Amazon customers are saying about a top pick. Folgers Gourmet Supreme Medium Dark Roast Ground Coffee, 24.2 ounces. It has a rating of 4.7 stars from more than 8,800 customers. An Amazon customer says, great flavor, love strong coffee, good price also. Okay, so 4.7 out of 5 stars, that's actually really good with that many customer reviews. Uh, the price range seems to go all over the place, $9 to $210. You probably get more ounces than that. This particular bag is uh, <laughs> yeah, five stars from Bill. Uh, this particular bag right here is uh, 10.3 ounces. But, um, yeah, seems to be popular. I remember Miss Olson when she was going to Folgers. <laughs> Yeah, they always had a, a whole story about the Folgers in your cup. Like, if someone would come home from, like, a long trip, and then it was, like, a sun or something, and and then they would get up in the morning, and, and there would be, like, uh, Folgers uh, would play the, the song, Folgers in Your Cup, and then the family would, would re reunite over a cup of coffee. It was uh, genius marketing, just all the feels. All right, so we're brewing the Folgers Gourmet Supreme Coffee. I do uh, coffee reviews occasionally. The last one was the Death Wish Coffee, and then there was a Bones Coffee Company. Bones Coffee Company is actually, actually really good. Uh, Death Wish is high caffeine. Yep, Missy, the fresh part, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Everybody knows it. So, yeah, and I don't think they're the most popular reviews that I do, but I like coffee, so I, I like to do some reviews of new coffees. And this one, just packaging-wise, was interesting. I've never heard of the Folgers. Or I've never seen Folgers. It probably was always there, but i just never seen it. The Folgers Gourmet Supreme. And I paid around five bucks for it. And we're just making the normal drip uh, coffee in my uh, coffee machine here. Um, you could probably, it said French press. It gave that. It said you could use it as cold brew. Those were some of the options. It's not single origin, it's not organic, it's not fair trade, It's uh, but it is. it says 100% pure coffee. It's not Arabica beans or anything like that, so you can see that doesn't really say much. I mean, the premium coffees will not say that. They'll usually say like organic, single source or single origin, uh, fair trade, uh, what other things, Arabica beans, but this is just 100% pure coffee. So I don't know where the gourmet comes in other than labeling. I'd be interested to see how it, uh, is it just the taste that makes it gourmet or is it actually, are the beans better quality or what's going on? I'm not quite sure. All right, so not the Turtles Cup today. We have the uh, the brand that I'm sure everyone recognize, recognizes. All right, so I'm going to pour it out in the cup. I think it's... Got enough coffee in there that I would say, usually I'd leave it on because it does kind of change the taste when you take it out too early, but just for the sake of this review. Yeah, check this out. It looks really rich, really dark. Uh, Judy, just made it. What did, what did you miss? <laughs> we're, we're brewing Folgers Gourmet Supreme Coffee right now. And yeah, you can see how rich and dark this is. This is probably... It looks darker than my normal cup of coffee, actually. It looks kind of just real. And I put about the same amount. But I think Folgers in general is kind of a stronger coffee. But here we go. Three, two, one. The Folgers Gourmet Supreme. How does it taste? Taste test. Okay, Gary says the beans are higher quality. Peppermint mocha creamer. Yeah, I, I agree. Um... It's real full-bodied. I mean, just tons of flavor. Because you get some coffees that are just 
they don't have a fullness to them. This has a fullness. This is like, but at the same time, it's smooth. I mean, I'm sure, you know, Folgers, I'm sure puts a lot of thought into like how their coffee tastes. Um, and it, you can, you can tell this is, um, a very rich kind of like, I mean, it is a dark roast. So there's rich, flavorful, full, robust, I guess you could say. Um, so if you like, oh, hope, thank you. A hundred stars from hope. Thank you so much. So I would say as far as tasting different from the regular Folgers, I haven't had Folgers in a while. Maybe this is like, it just has a real rich, but yet smooth, which is a, like sometimes a hard combination to get. Like if you've ever had Pike Place Roast at Starbucks, you'll know that it's a very rich tasting coffee, but it's not the smoothest, I'd say. This is really, I mean, it's really rich and flavorful. Um, and there's a smoothness to this, which I like. So maybe that is why it's gourmet. It's like rich and smooth and tasting. I don't know. I don't know. But it's, I, I would have to compare it to side by side. That's probably what I should have done. Um, uh, this is a Hamilton Beach. I did a, a previous review of this a while ago. Uh, if you search YouTube, you can probably find it. If you search the number nine, M-A-L-L-S, uh, Hamilton Beach, you'll you'll find the review. Uh, this is one that I settled on after searching for a lot of different, uh, or tr testing a lot of different drip coffee makers. It's, it's actually harder than you think to find a good one that doesn't leave the coffee tasting a little bit like plastic. Um, this, But this one, I've gone through two of these actually, and I'd get another one if I can find it, you know. Hopefully this one will be my last, but. All right, so yeah, I would I do recommend the Folders Gourmet Supreme. Uh, it's actually really good coffee. A little bit surprised, but it's it tastes great, yeah. And this is the medium dark roast if you're interested. It was around five bucks, and it was it's ten point three ounces. And on Amazon, there's a huge price range of like nine dollars to it. It went up to like two hundred something. But that's probably for multiple. I don't actually I don't know how the smart speaker <laughs> gets the prices, but. It went up to like 200. So that's probably for a multi-pack of some sort. So there you go. Thank you everyone for watching. This is a little bit different than usual. More reviews coming soon. Food reviews, gadgets, and probably some more coffee reviews at some point. But this is one that I hadn't seen before getting it. And it's actually pretty good. So I might get this again, actually. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you later.